Hi guys, welcome to the Elliott Estate. Tonight, I am planting a special kind of pretty thing. I have some bearded iris from Shriners. Now, two things. One, I just burnt all my holes with a, pour, with a weed torch and a propane tank barefoot, so don't come after me. And I have a white linen shirt on. I was at the, my shop today and didn't feel like changing, so we're doing things a little incorrect tonight. And I have my little helper here. So I got a package uh, from Shriners Iris in the mail earlier this week. And I'm super excited because I got some really pretty varieties of bearded iris. I pretty much went down a rabbit hole. Um, I was watching Florette online and she was going through her like iris patch or whatever. And she mentioned um, Shriners Iris and or Shriners Gardens I should say um, and so I went on and I was looking at um, her collection of um, the bearded iris on her like flower library on her website and like so gorgeous like I fell in love <laughs> I was like oh my gosh I need to add some of these to my garden so um, what we are doing I have I think 20 20 ish varieties of bearded iris that I had ordered um, just a couple of them that I had double ordered um, but I wanted to run through what the rhizomes of the iris look like. Um, and then I also wanted to show you all of the different varieties that I had gotten. So I unpackaged all of the iris um, from the box. It came beautifully um, packaged. And I had ordered these several months ago. And whenever I had placed it, um, I wasn't even thinking. And they had a later ship date, of course. So this is what iris look like if you're unfamiliar this is a rhizome, um, very similar to like a, a bulb um, but this is where all the energy is stored and so what we're going to be doing is be we're going to be planting these in the ground with the soil level like up to here ish right where my pointer is so I will show you here in a second but um, what I'm also going to be doing is throwing in the holes is some biotone starter fertilizer so um, I already went through with my auger Julius is down there playing around with it and this is our lavender fields um, and I had an open row, row and these needed to get in the ground and we already have drip irrigation lined up here so that is the reason that I'm planting them here we will eventually <clears throat> move them in elsewhere in the garden um, but for the sake of getting these iris in the ground I just went ahead and I prepared all of the holes and such here in this row that will eventually be lavender so it was really nice because I just went through burned all my holes and then I came along with my auger and I got it all nice and fluffy so what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be tossing some fertilizer in there and then I'm going to be grabbing each of the iris and we are going to be planting them to where the soil pretty well like covers up until here give or take so let's go through the different varieties that I have ordered this is enraptured but look how pretty that is and I think I'm gonna have to put um, better photos from the Shriners Gardens website um, on the screen because I don't know that my GoPro will pick up all the detail but super pretty this gets a height of 40 inches and just like it looks so beautiful with its lavender purples and then it has like a fluorescent orange beard and there are so many gorgeous ones in here I kind of went with more of a creamy pastel um, color palette and I also tossed in some black ones as well because I thought that'd be a really pretty contrast so there's a lot of muted colors and then some darker black ones what baby can you say hello? Yeah. <laughs> Should we show them what iris we have? Yeah. Okay, let's dive in. What was really nice about the Shriners Garden is that they came with some pamphlets on how to um, how to get them planted. Came with like the knowledge of the iris, like so many, so so much great resources that came in the box, which I forgot at home. But um, yeah. super super great information. Mommy. Oh, does Jamie have one too? Yeah. Jamie has an iris. Everybody has an iris. Um, they just were very, really great on sharing all the things you need to know to get started with bearded iris or iris Yay. in general. 
So let's go through the different um, varieties. Because I got, you know, so many that I did, there was a couple freebies, which I will mention whenever you come across it. Um, but this is Better Than Butter. Super pretty, white, and like buttery yellow. Cafe Blau. Nice, soft blue. This is Raven Girl. Super rich black. Sky and Sun. Let Evening Come. Beauty Within. That one's very like a soft, almost has like a soft lilac to white color. But Darling, oh my gosh, this one's divine. So excited to see these next spring. Parisian Dawn. Nice soft sunset colors. Rhyme Zone. Rhyme Zone. Cowboy. Wow, I'm probably butchering that more than it needs to be. This was a bonus one. This was a freebie one. Jules, no, no. Society Page, which I have two of these. It's a soft, pretty pink. Champagne and Strawberries. This was one of my favorites I fell in love with on the Floret, Mommy. Floret Garden. Yeah. Or the Floret um, Garden Library. Big as the Moon. This was another bonus. Just a really pretty sun, sun yellow. Candy coating. Uh, starring. Starring. See, I liked how this one was black and it had like pink in it and then like an orange like beard. So this is the beard. And I thought it would be really striking with some other like jet black ones. There's another Cafe Blau. Society Page was another double up I accidentally ordered absolute treasure I do, I do. no please don't dump it please I do. star appeal Julia Sono Austin cream just a creamy white so pretty I do. two more we have Chinook winds yeah. and entrap entrap <laughs> enraptured oh my gosh So I am going to be planting each one. I put my fertilizer down in that down in the hole, and I'm going to be probably backfilling quite a bit. You just want the roots to be covered. And that is all that it's gonna take. You don't want to cover the neck too much, but just like that where you have a little bit exposed and the roots are down in there and that's all it's gonna take. So we're gonna do that 20 more times. They are all in. Now these last couple Taylor had planted and he didn't fully know and I think this might be a common mistake but you don't want to bury like up to the like you want it to sit higher than like a, normally you want it to sit higher than what you would think. 
so you want to see some of that bulb from my understanding um, I don't know if it's like a, a rot issue or what but you want that bulb to sit out of the dirt just ever so slightly um, let's see if I can find another great example so yeah it's just kind of sitting sitting out just ever so slightly so what I'll do here in the upcoming weeks is I will run another irrigation line over here and just put uh, an emitter by the iris root or there by the, the base of the iris. Um, honestly, I think they'd be fine without it, but I'll just run it because I have an extra piece of irrigation line that, that I think is perfect in length. But um, got them all in the ground. I think there was 19 to, no, there was 22, I think. 22 total that I had planted and I'm so so excited to see them next spring. I have one bearded iris that I had gotten from Taylor's grandma um, that is a really soft blush color and then it has like a fluorescent orange beard or like little tongue or I don't know whatever they call it um, and it is so striking and I used it in some of my arrangements last week and it was really pretty like in addition to um so i'm excited to see these different ones i just wanted to bring you guys along to show you my shriners haul of what i had ordered if you have not checked out florette's flower library i'm sure she has another word for it she <laughs> you will go down a rabbit hole of like beautiful flowers and she has a whole category or a whole yeah whole category on bearded iris that is really amazing gorgeous photos and you will fall in love with all these different varieties that you'll be seeing here. So that will do it for this project. I'm excited to see these next spring um, and I'm excited to see what kind of growth they will put on. Like I said, these are not staying in this row. I think um, maybe next year at this time I have several other quadrants uh, that I'm going to be planting flowers in much like this lavender field. Um, so I'm sure it'll end up in one of the other quadrants, um, but I just wanted to get them in the ground and bring you guys along for that. So um, I will put all of those different resources down below for Shriners and then also Florette's uh, Flower Library. Um, I know they had put a lot of work into it and it's a wealth of information. So check those out down below. Thank you guys for watching and being here at the Elliott Estate.